busted DOJ official Bruce Orr caught hiding wife's payments from Fusion GPS by Joshua Kaplan for the thegatewaypundit.com. Did Fusion GPS use Justice Department official Bruce Orr's wife, who was hired to dig up dirt on then-candidate Donald Trump to influence top government officials? If the answer is no, then why did the recently demoted Orr hide his wife's Fusion GPS compensation from ethics officials? Isn't that interesting? The Daily Caller reports, Bruce Orr, the Department of Justice official who brought opposition research uh, on Donald Trump uh, to the FBI, did not disclose that Fusion GPS which performed that research at the Democratic National Committee's behest, was paying his wife and did not obtain a conflict of interest waiver from his supervisors at the Justice Department. Documents obtained by the Daily Caller News Foundation show the omission may explain why Orr was demoted from his post as Associate Deputy Attorney General after the relationship between Fusion GPS and his wife emerged and Fusion founder Glenn Simpson acknowledged meeting with Orr, willfully falsifying government ethics forms, can carry a penalty of jail time if convicted. The Democratic National Committee, DNC, hired Fusion GPS to gather and disseminate damning uh, info about Trump and then they uh, in turn paid Nellie Orr, a former CIA employee with expertise in Russia, for an unknown role related to the dossier. Bruce Orr then brought the information to the FBI, kicking off a probe and a media firestorm. Payments from Fusion GPS to Bruce Orr's family, funded by the DNC, have the appearance of a, of a government for hire, i.e. bribing a DOJ official to push the case, says the Daily Caller's Luke Rosiak. Daily Caller has more. The money sweetened the pot for the oars, and it certainly made it easier for Fusion to get the dossier to be used before the court if they made that payment to Bruce Orr's wife Former judge and Texas GOP rep Louis Gommert told the Daily Caller News Foundation, Fusion had to have known that because of the relationship between Bruce Orr and his wife, they were bringing Fusion, the DOJ, and the DNC together under one roof to work for the same goal, which was to stop Donald Trump from becoming president, he said. The financial arrangement between Mrs. Orr and Fusion uh, GPS gives the appearance of government for hire, said Tom Anderson, an ethics expert at the conservative-leading leading, uh, watchdog group, the National Legal and Policy Center. It appears to be a sophisticated uh, scheme to get access to the highest levels of our government ensuring the use of government resources in an attempt to influence an election. Judicial Watch President Tom Fitton said more attention should be paid to Bruce Orr in relation to the dossier drama. The fact that Senate Intelligence Committee is bringing in Bruce Orr, the, this Justice Department official involved with Fusion GPS and the Clinton dossier, that's what I like, the Clinton dossier. That's what, it's not the Russian, it's the Clinton dossier, perfectly written there. Shows you, were, uh, shows you where the uh, collusion scandal is, Fitton told Owen's John Hines last December. It's with the Clinton campaign, the DNC, the FBI, the Justice Department, said Fitton before asking, how did they use the dossier? How did they use this dossier? Was Mueller using this dossier? Of course he was. Was it used to justify uh, to a court to get warrants to spy on Trump and his team? 
Of course it was. That's the collusion, added Fitton. Bruce Orr is the first indication that we have the Justice Department, that we have that the Justice Department was involved in this dossier that's been so controversial. Fusion GPS's co-founder Glenn Simpson recently admitted in a court document that his firm hired Nellie Orr, the wife of Bruce Orr, to investigate then-candidate Donald Trump. You see how all this is fitting together? Let's just take a listen. This was... Uh, more information is slowly being revealed regarding Department of Justice employees associated with Fusion GPS and the Clinton campaign, including a former associate deputy attorney general. One America's John Hines reports. The Senate Intelligence Committee has taken a recent interest in former associate attorney general Bruce Orr and his reported connections with Fusion GPS. And it is this interest that is telling, says Judicial Watch President Tom Fitton. The fact that the Senate Intelligence Committee is bringing in Bruce Ward, this Justice Department official involved with Fusion GPS and the Clinton dossier, shows you where the collusion scandal is. It's with the Clinton campaign, the DNC, the FBI, the Justice Department. How did they use this dossier? Was Mueller using this dossier? Was it used to spy? Was it used to justify uh, to a court to get warrants to spy on Trump and his team? These are all open questions. That's the collusion. That's the collusion, says Fitton. And the fact that the Senate Intelligence Committee wants to interview Orr underscores that fact, and that the FBI was actually involved with the Russian dossier. Bruce Orr is uh, the first indication we have that the Justice Department itself was involved in this dossier that's been so controversial, the dossier created by Hillary Clinton's campaign, the Democratic National Committee. We know the FBI had a hand in it, was using it, may have paid individuals associated with it. Now we learn that Bruce Orr was also meeting with the dossier's authors. And so the question is why? Why indeed? And one clue may be Orr's wife, Nellie, who reportedly was working for Fusion GPS. Well, it turns out the same firm that created the dossier had also hired Bruce Orr's wife. Again, Bruce Orr, senior Justice Department official, head of the Organized Crime Division, also uh, a deputy uh, assistant AG, so really up there in the ranks in terms of the Department of Justice. Given his senior position in the Justice Department, one would suspect he'd be involved in the Russia collusion investigations. So there are going to be questions about what his involvement was, how did he use the dossier, what was he communicating with this Clinton campaign vendor about. Communicating with the Clinton campaign, says Fitton, and possibly communicating via text messages, some of which have just come to light, which seem to reveal anything but a neutral FBI. And don't forget, you can't uh, disconnect all of this with the new texts that we're hearing about out of the FBI, where you see FBI top leadership talking about having an insurance policy in case uh, President Trump won the election. Uh, you have to wonder if the insurance policy was the dossier or the Russia investigation generally. Have you ever seen anything like this? No, nope, we didn't see it, uh, not in recent American history. You'd have to go back to the Nixon days uh, for something like this to uh, uh, define something ca comparable to what's going on now. The Senate Intelligence Committee has revealed little information, but its recent witnesses could indicate a critical new phase of its investigation into Russian collusion. John Hines, On American News, Washington. I like the fact that they said the Clinton dossier. It's not the Russian dossier. It's the Clinton dossier. Absolutely perfect. It's not the Russians. Exactly. And now, listen, how, how long can they run? How long can they run? There's a paper trail. There's a paper trail. They're going down. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.